and the sole one was uh, one of the first uh, concentrated solar power uh, that uh, was uh, commissioned in Spain in the year 2009. Uh, it's a power plant of uh, 50 megawatts with uh, a thermal storage system. And in this video we will see which are the main elements and the main system that compound and the solar one. The design of Andasol One uh, was made by Sener, one of the first uh, engineering company uh, that designed this type of plant. Uh, this design corresponds to the second generation of uh, uh, solar power plant. The first generation corresponds uh, with the uh, six um, plants, but uh, Andasol and other correspond with the, the second generation with the uh, lesson learned in uh, the sex project uh, and all was designed. Of course, was the first one in Spain uh, has, uh, has had some problems. These problems in this moment are, are solved. Uh, in this problem, this plan operates uh, very well. And uh, it's a very good opportunity to see uh, which are the, the main elements that compound uh, this plan. Uh, the, for the, the main part of one uh, solar thermal power plant, of course, is the solar field. The solar field in this case, as we can see in, in the image, in the video, uh, is a very huge uh, land. It's around 200 hectares occupied by the uh, solar mirror. Uh, here uh, we can see the different uh, elements, the different collector and the different loops. It's composed uh, more or less by 156 loops. And here in the image we can see the different loops. One loop in, in this image is this assembly. This is the, the the oil, the thermal oil, the, the thermal fluid goes in in the loop over here with this point. After that goes over here, over here, over here. This is the crossover and the fluid change the direction and after goes over here to the exit. What is an element? One element is this one, is the minimum size, the minimum a component of a loop, one a solar collector assembly is the minimum element that move together and the loop is the, uh, the, the minimum uh, element able to increase the temperature of the oil from the temperature that present in the inlet to the temperature that present in the outlet. Then uh, here we can see this beautiful extension of land, and uh, we can see the, the very high number of loops that we have here. 200 hectares, compound, uh, and that's all one. You can see here the main pipe or header. The uh, oil goes out from this point and is distributed from this line and this line. Uh, here we can see this form. Uh, this form is to avoid problem with expansion uh, of the pipes when the, uh, the pipe is heated by the uh, thermal fluid. In this image, we can see the power block. The power block uh, 
it has different elements. Of course, uh, we have the, the thermal storage system, we have the uh, HDF system, we have the water and sea cycle, we have the, the exchanger, the steam generation train, and uh, we have the, the steam turbine, the generator, the uh, substation, electrical substation, and the BOB, the balance of plant, the auxiliary system. Uh, I want to describe each one, and in this picture, in this video, this element, the biggest one is uh, the, the, the thermal storage system, is composed by two tanks, and a part of this tank, uh, in the middle, we have a changer. The fluid is a, uh, uh, um, the, this fluid, this thermal fluid is a molten salt, uh, inorganic salt that uh, change the temperature. Uh, the temperature that has in the cold tank is around 280, and the uh, temperature that we have in the hot tank is around 380. Uh, then the molten salt travel from one tank to the other, a changer, his temperature, his energy uh, against the HDF, the thermal fluid, the oil, thermal oil. Then here we have the uh, element that compound the thermal storage system. In the background we can see the Sierra Nevada in a beautiful day with uh, this beautiful uh, snow and these beautiful clouds. Here <coughs> we can see the thermal storage system. Composite, as I have said, yeah, as, uh, said the um, tanks, changer, and pumps. Uh, assembly of pumps in the hot tank and uh, an assembly of pumps in the hot tank. <laughs> Here we can see the expansion tank. This is uh, one element of the HDF system, and the HDF system is composed by the expansion tank, the main pumps, a boiler, and a changer. Then uh, here, these three tanks that we can see here in, in, in this image is uh, two overflow tank, this one, this one, and this is called expansion tank. But together, the assembly of the three tanks is uh, really the, the expansion tank. We can see in this scene uh, the two tanks hot tank, uh, cold tank and hot tank, changers, the pumps. Here we can see the expansion tank and here this, all these elements are the main pumps. The assembly of pump is composed by six pumps and uh, these six pumps are responsible to increase the pressure in the thermal fluid. In this beautiful side of the plant, we can see the, the tanks, the tank that compound the, the thermal storage system, the uh, HDF expansion tank, pumps, and uh, all this is the solar field. In this image, we can see uh, not only Andasol 1 is this one, we can see Andasol 2 is this one, and even Andasol 3 is this one are three plants together, independent plant, uh, and uh, they operate uh, separately. And uh, here, in the background here, we can see aerogenerator. 
it's strange to have a hydrogen generator together with the uh, one uh, uh, solar thermal power plant uh, because the wind is not very good for the mirror. Then, uh, which one? The, the promoter of the hydrogen generator, the promoter of the solar plant has reason. Well, we don't know. Now we have changed the plan. It's similar to Andasol 1, but, but it's uh, Andasol 2. In Andasol 2, we can see the same schema. We can see the uh, thermal storage system. We can see the expansion tank. Uh, we can see the uh, pumps. And even here, we can see another element, the boiler, the auxiliary boiler. This auxiliary boiler allows to increase the temperature of the oil in case of the temperature is not enough. Uh, in this moment, the uh, regulation of uh, the, the Spanish regulation uh, does not allow to operate with this planet to produce energy with this uh, uh, with this boiler. But uh, at the first, uh, was possible. See this wall. This wall is to avoid problems in case of the uh, tanks has uh, any problem, and uh, we have a spillage of molten salt. And, uh, to avoid a uh, problem with this spillage, we have this wall to contain uh, this spillage. Now we can see all the HGF system uh, complete. We can see here the expansion tank, we can see here the pumps and uh, even the electrical building to control the, the, the uh, what is contained in the, the drive that control the pumps. Uh, the boiler, three boiler. And uh, uh, here is the uh, next element of this, uh, the part of the HDF system. But here we, can, uh, we have uh, an element that connect the HDF system with the uh, water steam cycle, is the steam generation train. The steam generation train is composed by uh, four elements, the economizer, evaporator, superheater, and reheater. And this, uh, this is called the, the steam generation train, the train of a changer, and this is uh, multiplied by two. And then we have here one assembly of economizer, preheater, uh, economizer, uh, evaporator, superheater and reheater, and here in this part we have the same uh, schema. Now in this image we can see better the uh, steam generation train. The steam generation train, as I said, is composed by uh, economizer, evaporator, superheater here, and reheater that is uh, installed here. Uh, after that, uh, we have exchanged the energy contained in the uh, HGF system, and we have passed this energy to the water steam cycle, and we have uh, steam steam with some temperature and steam with some pressure. Normally, more or less, the nominal value are um, uh, more or less 100 bar of pressure and around 380 uh, uh, Celsius degrees of temperature. And we go to the uh, water steam cycle. The water steam cycle is composed by three parts. One part is the uh, condensate system, other part is the uh, feed water system and the third one is the steam system. Uh, 
Here we have uh, all the elements. Maybe in other schema we can see better which are the elements that compose the water and cycle. And uh, this building that is located here is the steam turbine. Here are uh, located two steam turbines, the high pressure steam turbine, the low pressure steam turbine, and even the two elements that is needed to uh, and the, the two elements that are needed to transform the uh, potential energy contained in the steam into electrical energy is the generator and uh, one, uh, one gear to reduce the speed of the uh, HP to buy. Uh, this element over here is the condenser. The exit of the LP turbine goes to the condenser, and uh, this condenser condensates the steam, the dead steam, the steam without uh, uh, energy, uh, and uh, transform this steam in water again, liquid water again, and uh, the fluid that we need to condensate the fluid that, mm, uh, uh, that supply the, mm, the coal source to condensate the steam is this, this cooling tower and the main cooling uh, water system. Here we can see the, the cooling tower and the main pumps that mm, made the circulation of this uh, water. Here we have the electrical system the electrical system uh, after the, the electrical is generated in the generator goes to the transformer and transfer the voltage of this energy is uh, without changing the power uh, what we change here in the transformer is the voltage we increase the voltage and reduce the intensity to um, uh, to decrease the, the losses in the net uh, after that we connect uh, with the net uh, by wire, by the ideal way, and uh, the element that connect and disconnect are located uh, here in this part. The plant needs an uh, assembly of uh, auxiliary system called BOP, balance of plant. And uh, this is the, the uh, of course, the, the, the main cooling water, the, mm -hmm, the uh, water treatment plant that supply demi water, the uh, firefighting system, the compressed air system, and, and the even the waste water system here, this part, and these are all the elements that compose the solar field and the uh, power block of one of uh, Andasol one and two. We have seen all the elements that compound Andasol 1 and Andasol 2. Our two beautiful plants are the first one uh, commissioned in Spain in the year uh, 2009. Uh, beautiful site, beautiful environment, beautiful mountains in uh, all this area. Uh, beautiful climatological condition for the production of uh, electricity from the sun and uh, from Renovetech, Santiago García.